Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Trevor Zanier. here. Welcome to the uh, third video of the uh, Christmas event for my channel. Today, we're going to be making a video on RoboQuad, just showing off some of his cool uh, signature moves and signature things that people really like about him. I really like RoboQuad. I think he's one of the better autonomous robots from Wowie Robotics. There aren't many that are really good at autonomous modes, but this guy has a lot of them. This guy also can walk on carpet, which not many Wowie robots can do as well. Um, there are a lot of problems that these guys got, which is a downside to them, but if they didn't have any problems, this, this guy would have been one of the better Wowie robots. So I'll, I'll show his demo, and I haven't used him for a while, so I'm expecting some things not to work very well, but uh, we'll see what happens. That's his little dance demo. He has a guard mode. Oh, now, now he's working just fine. Before when I tested him out, he wasn't able to get up on his on the top of his feet like that. He was having trouble doing it. He has really good vision, especially for using an IR sensor. It's it's really good. Like that's pretty far away. He was able to see my hand. And I'll say it again that. That's really good for a Wowie robot. Not many Wowie robots have that good of eye vision. A lot of them have really bad eye vision. Usually, I think I personally think RoboPet and RoboQuad have the best eye vision than a lot of them. So uh, I'll be now. I'm going to be showing you my wait. Wait, what's this? Oh, never mind. my favorite mode in RoboQuad is this. His a uh, his autonomous maze kind of exploring mode where he makes that noise and now he looks around for objects and when he sees objects he makes that yeah, noise I also love the way how RoboQuad walks he walks, I mean on carpet, I mean not, yeah on carpet on a, on floor, on a hard floor like this he doesn't walk the best but on carpet he walks really well he walks well on almost any surface so he's, he's walking decently right now Pretty good for um, the way we walk. Mark Tillman did a really good job designing this guy because whenever like one half, whenever one leg moves up, like the whole body kind of tilts to the side like a Robo Sapien, kind of like the Robo Sapiens that he designed. I'll show him on carpet now. That's how much better he walks on carpet. He walks perfectly straight, man. I'm gonna put him back on the hard floor, though, just because there's better lighting. <laughs> Thomas, I mean, he does this for about two to five minutes, and he'll keep going until that time limit is reached. Right there, he's done already. And he also flinches. Okay, that was weird. He has other modes too, like you can adjust these, which um, make when you just press this, that those, these mood behaviors affect what he does in this. So now, this is sort of his more personality mode, where he'll just walk around and do random things, which is usually what I do in my roaming videos. Where on my roaming videos, I'll probably just have him be doing this because he's moving around and doing his own thing. And as I mean, and I also like it because he switches between uh, different modes. Which I think is really cool. I'm not doing any of this with the remote right now. It's just, he's doing this all on his own. I really like how RoboQuad walks, though. He's one of my more favorite robots from Wowie, how he moves his head back and forth like that. It's really, really nice. He's just a really cool robot. Um, I got him a, uh, two or three years ago. I think it was just about three years ago. But again, with the IR thing... Oh, I actually saw the object. 
Um, with IR sensors, they have problems um, seeing darker colored objects. So he was actually able to see that amp pretty well, surprisingly. I like how he does those crab walks to the side and stuff. I, I, I just really like how this guy moves. I mean, all, I, I mean, all the beeping noises and stuff are cool, but it's just the way this guy moves that's so cool. His crab walking is just so cool. And again, since he's using an IR sensor, he's having a hard time seeing that there's an object there. He's pretty big, too. I mean, he doesn't look that big. But this is in next to my hand. He's pretty big. He's not really that tall. He's taller than the average, um... He's taller than the average, um, while we, you know, kind of pet robot, more like, you know, robo-pet, uh, robo-reptile, but he is, um, he is taller than robo-pet, and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he is taller than robo-reptile, but robo-raptor, I think, is probably, uh, the tallest of the, um, of the, whatchamacallit, of the pets, of the pet, uh, the pet robots from Wally Robotics. The humanoids, that's between, now I'm not gonna count Tribot, or, um, you know, any of those rope myths or personality in this when I say this. This is only counting the Robo Sapiens. I would probably say RS Media or V2 are the two tallest for, um, humanoids. I'm not going to Tribot because I don't think he's a humanoid. I don't consider him a humanoid because what kind of, what kind of human has those types of wheels for feet? I mean, honestly, it's just a stump with three wheels coming out. No, no human has that. So I don't consider him a humanoid. A humanoid is one that I consider a bipedal, a bipedal organism or bipedal robot, which, you know, in this case would be walking on two legs. Uh, but my, this is definitely one of my more favorite robots from Mario Robotics, um, this guy. If you want to watch some more videos of him in action, they either on my channel. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas. Stay tuned for video four tomorrow.